Okay, so for right now, the last thing I want to show you is how to change the color of each of these tracks. It's not something that is necessary for you to complete your first assignment, but it does make it look nicer, it makes it easier to tell which track is which, and it just looks more professional. So, if you want to change the color of any of these tracks, or all of these tracks, here's what you do. You click on the track, and so it highlights it. You go up to track on the menu, and then you go to properties. In the properties menu, you'll see that track color is an option. And as you scroll over to that, it will show you different color choices that you can choose. I'm going to make that one red. Okay, so that one's red. Let's do it again. I want to change this one as well. Click the track so it's highlighted. I go to track, properties, track color, and let's make this one um, oh, kind of a blue. Uh, it looks almost purple, but that one has changed now. Let's change this one. Highlight it. Track. Properties. Track color. And yellow. And last. Highlight it. Track. Properties. Color. Let's make that one uh, purple. So now I've changed the colors of all my tracks. Not only can I see where one of them ends and one begins a little easier, it just looks a little cooler too. So if you choose to do that, that is fine. If you choose not to do that, it's not going to affect the way your song sounds. It'll just make it look nicer.